Hey yo, what's good world, man? It's your boy Yo Yo Escobar, man. Head honcho the worst part battlegrounds, man. I need y'all to head over to Capology Facts. Hold this LTV right now. Like, subscribe, share. You know what I'm saying? Get into it, it's moving, man. Are you getting a whole motherfucking L to hold, man? It's the worst part battlegrounds, man. Turn up. Move on to the next conversation. Hey, yo, bro. This is a random. This is a random conversation, bro. This is this is where we get the podcasting, <laughs> podcasting. You know, what I mean, uh, Capo. I, I just want to get your reaction to certain things. There were some things that you told me that you was not down to act, uh, to, 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 to be asked, just because that shit was stupid. One of the questions was, uh, I have a scenario that I wanna, I wanna ask you, bro, because. A lot of niggas in this world act tough, and you, you my old head, and I know you give it to me straight. You let me know what's what, and I just want to let I want to know what the fuck would happen. We'll name this segment "What the fuck would happen." Let's just name that, right? Boom, put that on the screen. Let's go. All right, Capo. So you're married, right? This is just a random conversation. This is no, uh, no. No ties to anybody, just all just a random conversation. What the fuck would happen? Uh, you're married. Yeah, hypothetical on, on this on this right here. You're married, you have a wife, and you love your wife. She's your world, she's everything that you 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 want, and everything. You have a kid, everything is going good, but you know, like if things are a little slow. You know, your car is fucked up. Uh, work is slow. Donald Trump got rid of all the jobs, whatever, whatever, right? Um, you get a, you know, you get a, like a little side chick, a chick that's just interested in you. And, you know, she's telling you like, yo, I'm going to take care of you. Here's the money for your car. Here's your money for your rent. Here's your money for everything. I'm talking about the baddest piece that you could think of. This is the girl. So, right? So you decide that you're going to do the unthinkable and step out in your relationship with your side piece. Now, she's giving you the five-star treatment. She's introducing you to all the people that you need to, you know, all networking. Like, this chick is connected. And when I say connected, it's just, it's the thing. But it's not your wife, right? So you still love your wife. As a nigga, you know how it go. We can love, love somebody and do something else. So one day, Shorty's taking you to this like this crazy ass date on this like I don't know like just one of these crazy ass dinners, right? And you, you go to the dinner, you just finish up. She's giving you money for whatever. I mean, you leaving with like six bands in your pocket. You know what I mean? Like you ready to just? Bro, what's the scenario? What's the scenario, man? Come on, you. This is a long ass. I gotta paint the picture, baby. I gotta paint this the is a long ass picture, nigga. Hurry the fuck up! I don't got all goddamn day. All right, so you coming out of the you coming out of the the spot and across the street from the 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 spot that y'all going on this date is a McDonald's. Now at this McDonald's, you see your wife and a man, and they're like holding hands and looking at each other and she's rubbing his back and all of this but when you see your 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 your, your wife she has your son with her so now you with your shorty you go back you like yo you're not gonna act out I, am confused. I am so confused by your scenario sir i like i don't i don't understand where you going with this like you painted a picture from the beginning of you with your wife, you love her, you're in love. That's just your world, and then you're you're financially strapped. But then a, a side piece comes along, and she wants to give you the world, and like, and then you know you see the come on, bro, come on. What do what what am I gonna do about what? Now, now that your your, your side piece, now you with your side piece, you see your wife and a nigga with your kid. I so know. I now I now I left my wife. 
for the side no, piece no, now. You still, no, you still with your wife. You still with your wife. You're still with your like you're on a date with your side piece, thinking your wife is at home watching the kid, and she's at McDonald's with her side nigga with your kid. Okay. So the, the scenario is if you was out, you saw your wife out with some guy with your kid there, what would you do? Is that the scenario? Mm -hmm. Why didn't you, you just say that? Home, you go home, ask your son, hey, what did you do today? Are you hungry? He said, Why would I ask my son if I saw him? So what are you doing? So what are you doing in that scenario? Yes. First of all, um, real men don't cheat. If that was the love of my life, my love, and I'm just down and out. I'm going to keep doing what I was doing, get back in position again. And as my wife, she's supposed to be, she's there holding me down. Okay. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And so she's not. that would, that, 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 that would just be one of those. I wouldn't have a wife that's just going to leave me because something happened with my finances. But if you, but I wouldn't cheat, have somebody around there. But, but if then you, cheat, you wouldn't have. I'm gonna go through it. I, I was cheating. She was cheating. What's your point? She was cheating with your kid with a nigga at McDonald's. You was going well to get as a, as 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 the as the man. I should have been home with my wife and kid. So oh, you. She's so I was I was in the wrong, and she's in the wrong for having the kid with her on a date. So this is why this is why I'm gonna break all that shit down. Then okay. I wouldn't have had no side piece. That's one. Okay. I wouldn't have had no side piece. And maybe my girl, my wife got a side nigga because I was out with my side piece all the goddamn time getting money. Now let's go in your factor. I got a side piece, or I meet somebody. They want to give me the world and shit like that. Before I wouldn't even acknowledge her, but since she wants to, I would go. Hey, wife. Hey, I I I, I know we're down, right? I normally I I I don't do this. But you know, you know, you know, you do know there's there's women out there that that they like to do like this, right? I got I got a proposal that I don't want to do, and I will give you all the, I'll, I will show you all the money and it's going in an account. You know what I mean? We could do this and get the money from her. You feel me? That's the type of person I am. I've done that before. I had a girl leave me when I did ask that, and it was no real. It was no sex involved. I should have left. So when my girl, was no when my ex, when my ex broke up with me, I was sad. I was being truthful. I was like, hey. This girl, I touched her. I haven't done nothing. She throwing it. She throwing it, but she she paying too. I'll cut you in. I'll give you 50-50 of the money. She said, nah, you trying to play me. Fuck you. We we over. We done. So I stopped fucking with her. I stopped talking to the old girl. Right? Old girl went to these two twins. And and buy them new clothes, buying them new shoes. She was buying. She was she was splurging on them. My ex saw that, found that out, came to apologize to me, and, and how wrong she was to break up with me. But it was too late. We never got back together. But I was being honest. You know what I mean? But if my girl, my wife, say, "Nigga, you better get out of my face with that shit." I'll be like, okay, cool. I, I I will I will I will not deal with that. You know what I mean? You don't have nothing to worry about. We're moving on. You know what I'm saying? 
Now, if I find out my girl's cheating and she had my baby with her, there would be a problem. Because I've been that through that before and we wasn't together. I just don't like random, random niggas around my, my, my son while you out here being a hoe. And I caught my baby mama because I was picking up my son. We was meeting. I was supposed to get him from her. <clears throat> and when I pulled up to the Popeyes, she was in her car. And when she got out, she got out the passenger side. I was like, that's weird. So she's talking to me, trying to hi-hi, kiki. And I happen to look in Popeyes. I see some dude standing there like he looking at the menu and shit. So I was like, you know, Spidey sense and said, and so I looked at, I said, why the fuck you playing with me? Bitch, who's this nigga you got around my son? Who the fuck you playing with right now? She's like, what are you talking? I said that you, hey. Go get that nigga out that motherfucking Popeyes and y'all better come back over here and you better introduce. What are you talking? Don't play with me. You got to count a motherfucking 10 because I don't like how you try to play it when when I when I be having people, you know, women, I don't even have them around my son, but you be trying to find them bitches on Facebook and all this other stuff just trying to message them talking about about your kid. But then you got some random nigga around my son. Are you stupid? I bet she went in there and got that nigga. And I bet you they came up there and he threw a red out his hand. Uh, introduced. I said, fuck you, nigga. Y'all two got me fucked up. I will kill you. Both of you motherfuckers up here. Don't play with me. Don't be having no random dicks around my son. That's not your husband. If you want to be a hoe, drop my son the fuck off. And then you go do that. Because obviously that's more important than being at home raising your son. Dick's more important. You got me fucked up. You out of here. That's just my baby mama. Let that be my wife. It would have been worse. I would have choked both of them up. Quick. In that restaurant. There would be no going home as my son. Hey what you do today. I would have walked right over there. Yup. Yup. What is this? Yeah, I'm not Choked up. Hold you, I'm not and. Hold you, I would have kicked her out the house. And called the police. And got a restraining order. And first one gets to the phone. Goes to jail first. The fuck out of here. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. Popeyes is fire as fuck. I'm thinking. <laughs> I love Popeyes, bro. That is, yo, bro that's what you got from that. You, that's what you got from that story. Love that chicken from Popeyes. <laughs> yo, Popeyes. You didn't say Cap or how? You didn't say Cap or how? You know that was that nigga in there. Did you get the yeah, strawberry nothing. Biscuits, bro. Oh my fucking god! I didn't bro. get none of that. I mean, I, that's, a up, that's a fucked up situation, bro. Because I'm not gonna lie, I'm scrapping with the nigga at Popeye. That is the place to scrap, Cap. But that was you my. That was not. That's not my baby. That that was just my baby mama. That was my girl. So I'm not gonna violate you. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a disrespect you in your face, but I'm not gonna violate you. Beat your ass. Now this nah. bitch, she can get slapped. The, this bitch right here can get slapped the fuck up. Because she did, she didn't tell you. See, that's that's what that's what as men we get fucked up because we'll listen to we get with a woman she says about the baby daddy and all this other stuff da 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 da. Mm. Tell them one thing, but you don't you don't tell them the whole story. You feel me? So I'm gonna she can say, "Oh, me. it's okay, it's okay for you to come." I'm just gonna drop the son off. He's He's naive. He's naive to the fact. He wouldn't know. So I'm going to give you a pass. 
Her? How she ain't gonna get a pass. How old is your son at this time? This was like when he was like four, three, three or four. Nah, bro, I feel it. Nah, nah you, you can't know. have. And they went out. They went out. She tried to say it was her and him, her and my son. They went out and did something for the day. No, it was you, my son, and him. That's where you got me fucked up. I'm sorry, I opened some wounds and shit like that. But hey, there's no, there's no wound. There's my son about to be. My son is 15 years old now. There's no wound. This shit happened like 20, 12 years ago. I'm not gonna hold that you shit. That's a long time ago. To me, bro. If I met at the Popeyes, bro, I mean, I'm a crash out dummy sometimes. I, I like. <clears throat> If we were still uh, together, I would have. No, you got to. All right. So uh, there's certain things that I. All right. So if I'm put in this position, which I've been the dude where I was the nigga at um, McDonald's. You know what I mean? I wasn't. I wasn't the husband. I was a broke nigga at McDonald's. With, you know what I mean? I'm yeah, of course. But, yeah. yeah, but nah, like I'm going to crash out just because I already have my six thousand. I have a bitch to bond me out, and I'm about to flex on you, and I'm about to beat this nigga's ass in front of you and my kid. And if when, I can't beat this nigga's ass, first of all, flexing I'm off another bitch's my, fl- first of all, flexing off another bitch's finance that she's giving you because you as a man can't get it yourself. That's wild on its own. Like I. That's you weird, McDonald's, bro. That's what I'm saying. You and, you, and you're broke, and you being taken care of by a woman, and it go do some, go do something that woman don't like. I bet you don't get those same finances, same shit. You wanna puff your chest? Look at me, I'm uh, iced out. Yeah, uh huh. And what? You gotta buy love. That's that chicken I in at any time. You see what you I celebrate? Don't. I don't celebrate that bullshit. It's not about me celebrating. What I'm saying is, is like, if I'm put in that situation, and, and this is all. I don't give a fuck about none of that. It's the fundamentals of you disrespecting me as the father of my my child. That's the only thing that I'm standing on. So I have. I don't give a fuck about that rest of that bullshit. That shit is I don't minuscule. I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm gonna beat your boyfriend's ass in front of you, my son, and my side bitch. Even if she lo- even if she leaves, she's giving me six thousand. I know for a fact they only want about four five hundred to bond out. So I'm good. Like I'm I'm gonna catch a simple assault and I'm cool. My son is gonna know that I ain't no fucking punk. I'm gonna scratch the Fuck you will know he I'm, gonna know you a punk because you're living off a woman like that. You bringing no financial nothing. You're broke. You say you was broke. You ain't nothing but a broke. And a woman wanted you to prepare for you do all this for what? For some dick? Or she just look at you, thought you find you potential of what fluctuation be a uh, be a dumb broke nigga but got your woman paying for everything you still a dumb broke nigga that's her shit what i'm up six thousand i'm about to beat this nigga fuck your ass. six thousand what are you talking about why saying, you keep on comparing so why you keep on bringing six thousand dollars in in a, this well, scenario that was that that was that stupid yeah. painting that you did that, that painting out. I had to paint the put because the niggas stop at like, don't the six thousand has nothing to do with anything. Everything, all that other bullshit had nothing to do with you. You, you catch a woman out with your son with another man. That's the premise. It should be nothing else around it. Fuck that six thousand. Fuck the side bitch that's giving you money. Fuck all that shit. You worried about six thousand? I got six thousand dollars. Oh, I can get. I can build that forty five hundred. What if you have six thousand dollars? Like my situation. What if I didn't have six? In my situation, there's no six thousand dollars in that situation. So what would you have done? 
I'm gonna crash. Let's go with a let's go with a real scenario here. There is no there is no motherfucking six thousand dollars. There's you see your your girlfriend, your wife out with your child with a nigga. There's no six thousand nigga. What you gonna do? I'm crashing out six thousand or six thousand <laughs> in the negative, nigga. I'm crashing out like that's period point blank. And I don't give a fuck if it's my cool. girl, my baby mama, my wife. Like I'm the nigga where like it's not about the pussy. Like I'm not gonna ever be like, oh my god, that pussy got me. So no, nigga, this is mine. She knew she was you. mine. You cheat or something. Something has to give. So either I'm gonna beat her ass or I'm gonna beat your ass. And I know damn well if I beat her ass, I'm not a real nigga. So we might as well bang. Cause I'm not. Well, you know, see, I'm not this, gonna this situation, knowing even if that's like, that's like, all right. And, and for me, for me, and this is just me. It's not about the pussy. It's about the principles. Like you're not gonna do this. This is the nigga you want to be with. Well, look, I'm gonna beat his ass just for the, you know I me, mean, just for the fundamentals. Like this is this is what is supposed to happen, and then if you bring so, my kids in it, it's 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 strategy after that. Like it, it's it's I'm Chris Benoit in the whole situation. Like because I I don't want to I don't want to blow me I wouldn't blow my cover, so I would go and ask the kid like yo what did you do today you seen your uncle or some shit like. Like you, you know I me mean? something like just and if the kid be like nah and the kid goes with it, I'm Chris Benoit for you know the day, bro. Like <laughs> you know I me mean? because now it's to the point where it's like the kid is involved and and everything. But yeah, bro, I, I'm 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 a crash out. I'm a crash out. Like yo, you not gonna about to just. I don't give a fuck if I'm not strapped uh, and, and I see you on a date with a nigga and shit like that. I'm confronting the situation, even if I know that nigga's a bug out. You know what I mean? But that's me. I'm 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 a I'm a principal stand on minds. Like, yeah, even if I'm cheating on minds, I'm bringing home. You on a fucking McDonald's date. You could have at least matched me and met me in the fucking restaurant. I just left. You could have told me like this nigga's paying a bill or two. Like you just going. Stop bringing up your stupid ass restaurant across the street that you got paid for. Stop bringing up that scenario. I mean, that has that nothing to do with broke. anything. You're because you not bring you. She's not providing. You're she's broke not, too. But all right, but I got a motherfucking link and I got a situation that can help. Man, me man shut you that shit up, up. nigga. You y'all weird ass story. That's weird. I don't. You you carry on with that. I don't care about none of that. That has nothing to do with it. They cheat and they go and go get money and fuck for money and this and that and, mm -hmm. and, and they bring it back to their man that they love. This nigga thinks six thousand dollars is, is a is a lot. <laughs> this six thousand dollars right, here, right there plus your car. This nigga plus right here, rest. I swear, you know what I, mean? I swear. You got. I'm I'm putting a bunch. It's not just any bitch. What I was saying no. in that scenario, and I was painting the picture. I wanted. I wanted. That was an ugly ass up. picture. Well, Sorry. it gets ugly when you cheat. Because if I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna cheat, and it's gonna be with a fucking billionaire. Yes, I'll cheat with a billionaire. Well, yeah, that's good. I, I, you, you have no morals or or so integrity. You Oprah? So you want to cheat? You have. Oprah? I want to cheat. That's the point I'm saying to you. What? You have no morals. You will cheat on your wife for a billion dollars from abroad for some money. Is that cool? That's 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 that what not, no, that's that not, stupid. Like, that not like, then you're not a you're not a man. You don't you have no morals. Hold on. And I hope she put pancake batter in all your gas tanks. We gonna figure this out. Oh, uh, you better get yourself in trouble. You might as well put it. Uh, go. Uh, uh, not live. I might end this. It's not for me. I might say shit. No, don't paint no stupid picture. Cause I will I will drop down. If Listen, you tell that stupid ass story, just hold me down, bro. Uh, I'm gonna hold you down. I'm going on mute and give me some ga glass of Kool Aid. Yo, bro. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. Hi. How you doing? Good. 
So I want to know. I, hey, I want. Hey, I I told him no. She so she can't hear. You. Uh, she can't hear me. Like no, she because I got you in the headphones. Uh, would it be okay if I not 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 if me, but like if in a scenario, like if like say Oprah was like, "Yo, here's a billion dollars." No. Fine. Because you're going to have a billion dollars if you're also going to be missing some body parts, so why would it even matter? Body parts? What do you mean? Because what are you getting to? Oh, um, Oprah offered you a billion dollars to have sex with her. Would I be okay with that now? Please? All right. <laughs> it's all right. I, fine. You're no fun. Um. <laughs> It's a billion dollars, yo. You know what's a? You're married. That's half of yours. That's five. Why are you? Million. Why are you? What, see, I already told you no. Why are you trying to I sell it? Million, Capo. Babe, and, you, and then you go, and then she gonna break up with you. Go ahead. Go ahead and go ahead. She gonna you gonna give her half. You gonna give. You gonna give her half. You gonna go give her half. And she gonna break up with you, and she gonna find a real man and spend all that money that you gave her because you wanted it. You didn't want love; you wanted a billion dollars. Money is a billion dollars. Here's half. Go on about your business. She gonna say, "Move around, nigga." She gonna tell you to move around, and then when you see her out, when you see her out living life with her new man, all booed up, you're gonna be mad. How about that billion dollars now? How about that five hundred million now? Go ahead, you got to go pay for it. You got to go pay for it. You got to go pay for it. You now you have to go pay for it. Now you're the hoe. You're the trick because you now you're gonna have to pay for women to be around you and to and and pretend like they love you. I wouldn't give a fuck. I don't care about what nobody think about me or what nobody say. I live life every day. You're going to be, hey, your scenario, you remember that pen, that painting you were painting? That, that picture you were painting? Hey, reverse it. They're going to be the, they're going to be the broke, they're going to be the broke nigga while you pay for everything. I'll pay your rent, baby. I'll pay, I'll pay your rent. Your bills and your, your car payment too. A billion dollars. That's going to be you. And where's your love at? And where's your heart at? What what happened? What happened to being in love and being married and having a wife and is a billion dollars? Cause what? What happens if he offers a, offers you a billion dollars for one night? You, 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 like yeah 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 yeah. He, oh oh, what's that nigga that? Uh, no, you ask that ask that yourself. Ask that yourself. Can your can your yeah, wife get offered a billion dollars? Hold on, hold on. What happens if Lorenzo Tate offers you a billion dollars for one night? Not even one night, like three hours. He asked the wrong person. He needs to ask himself. I'm not having sexual relations as a married woman. Regardless of the fact how much the money is, yeah, the money would be great and it'll take care of me for probably the rest of my fucking life. Facts. But men, T I won't, won't be right with me. So you're going to talk your me, shit. So for a billion dollars, yeah. you're, you're going to read your. She's going to divorce your ass. You better keep stop playing. I'm not gonna lie, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. You gonna force her to take a billion dollars because you're that selfish? You keep talking, man. And you shut the fuck up. Huh? That's a five hundred. Oh no, like we can't we can't be friends. We can't be friends. We can't we can't be friends. Mm -mm. We done worse. Nope. Your wife about to divorce your ass. Yep. Yep. Oh, you gonna, yep. You just show, like, you just showed your true colors. You more worried about money than being your love, your vows. Did your did God did God say it's okay for a billion dollars? And you step okay. out is <laughs> this nigga. What I, I feel like. I feel like you'll be up 500. Listen, nobody's going to be mad or look at you any type of way. Hey, right can now. I ask you a question? Go ahead. If that? some man came up to your wife and asked her a bill for, hey, let me have you for one night for a billion dollars. How are you, how, what you going to tell her? You can talk about me all the fuck you 
want. I don't give a fuck. I got mine, goddammit. You better hustle and get yours. You're going to tell her, yeah, go ahead, and you're not going to have no feelings at all. You're not going to say anything. You're not going to. You're not going to do anything. You're not going to have no, you're not going to be mad. You're not going to be envious. You know, none of that. Because you mind you, now you still have to have sex with your wife. Now, one of the things that you was doing that was pleasing your wife, she found something else that pleased her and you don't please her no more. Are you going to then put it in her face because uh, you fucked that nigga? Because then you have to look at yourself in the mirror. You allowed your wife to do that. Because you was money hungry and you didn't give a fuck about your marriage vows, the word of the God, your morals, no none of that. Because you won the billion dollars to take care of your ass. Not going to make me feel as less of who I am. I know who I am. I was never going to let another person make me feel bad about myself ever again. But what I saw was, as I got older, that this is the way people live their life. Fear what people think of them. And that's the reason why they don't say what they feel. That's the reason why they internalize. And that's the reason why they end up depressed. At that point, I sprayed this thing called, I don't give a fuck what anybody's thinking spray. And I think that's been the most important thing is not to care about the judgment of other people. See, I'm trying to help you as a man, but you, you go ahead. Bro, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, no, you don't. Billion, no, you bro. don't. I don't, I don't give a fuck. fuck. What you Hey, when I said, when when you go nobody. stand in front of God, when you go stand in front of God, and He say, "Hey, oh, I did the right thing. I married my wife." We did a, hey, young man, uh, what was that billion dollars that you allowed some man to have relations with your wife for a billion dollars? That's not condoned. You're not entering not, here. You 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 have to answer to me. You got to answer to God. Nobody's Only God can judge you. you. That motherfucker, if that motherfucker 500 million or billion hits your fucking yeah. account, mm -hmm. you it's not be like ah, it's not because it's not gonna happen. It's, it's not gonna happen. happen. But if it would, and my wife said, Yo, I gotta sleep with a nigga for a billion dollars. Hey, and and first of all, I would say I wouldn't even tell my wife, I'm my just wife. gonna do it and get the billion dollars. Fuck. That's my wife, which means I'm guaranteed half. This isn't your girl. You're not guaranteed half. You're not guaranteed half. Listen, we'll call it. We'll. I'll. I'll do it like this. Bro, let's go to you're Vegas. not guaranteed half. Vegas. Let's go to Vegas. I need the billion on top of that. I need a whole hotel suite and shit like. See, this that. is what, and, and then he gets the money to go splurge it. The to no, spend no, it no, on no, stupid no, no. shit. Oh, I want to be on the Las Vegas Strip on the penthouse suite with a roll with a cigar. Like, oh, look at me, I'm a millionaire. Shut your stupid man. Shut your bitch ass up. Can you shut the fuck up? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut your bubblegum, dumb, dumb looking ass the fuck up. Me all, me all the expenses on top of the billion. You We're know, I will buy me a, I will buy me a RV. And and, and, and going by my Vegas business. Stays in Vegas. And what happens in Vegas See? stays in Vegas. And then that's See? that. I don't want to do nothing. I'll go. I'll go and and gamble and do my thing and chill in the whole. You know I did. You know I did that. You know I did that without the millions. I did. I did that without millions exactly. of dollars. Exactly. So nigga, give me a. Billion. What's exactly? If you, I am talking about. I I said I could do that now. I don't have a million or a billion. I can do that now. And I did that in April. I was just in Vegas. Well, do it on somebody else's expense. Like like you you you're making up you're making up oh I get this billion dollars. I'm going to Vegas and whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. You can go do that now. Why you gotta wait to get millions of dollars so you can show off? See, you're not even financially you're not even financially aware. You want to go spend the money and splurge it at a, at a casino hotel. You should have put that in an account and let that motherfucker sit. That's what you need to do. Buy your essentials. Buy your bunker. A billion dollars, my wife would have to go with a man and, 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 and go with a man, right? And then what I said was, give us the billion, and for that night, we would have to go 
to Vegas and then all expenses on that person. The billions in our account, 500, 500. That's the already deal. Now, why do you have to go to Vegas? Because everything that happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, and why? Whatever happens in a closed, whatever happens in a closed room in any space of America or the world can stay right there in that closed room. Fuck a Vegas. Come by whenever you're in town. Hey, ain't nobody trying to hear that bullshit, man. You always trying to say something at the wrong time. Do whatever you got to do. Go, 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 sleep. Let us have our fun. Go ahead, there, Ray. Finish telling us about that. Go, Ray. Tell me something. After that, after they fly us into Vegas and give us all this fucking entertainment and let us go see Usher and whoever the fuck and whoever, right? I'm going to sue the fuck out of them for uh 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 human trafficking, sex trafficking, and I'm gonna win because everybody wins that. So jokes on you, fucking Capo. On top of my and you're and 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 for for you to say this jokes on me, you're the stupid one for sitting there saying you're gonna sue them for trafficking because you're part of that trafficking. How you are? You trafficked your wife. How? What are you talking about? I didn't agree to it. She did. Yo, yo, yeah, you did. You did. You was a, you was included. You were flying out. You was you was spending the money. You're getting the money. Remember 50-50. Remember 50-50. That's a pimp. You're going to jail too. You're you're not they not even going to jail. You're going to jail for being stupid for coming over trying to uh, sue them when you're doing it. You're selling your wife. You're not smart, Capo. This is why No, you're not smart. You're not smart. You just got to say it, man. I'm about to look. This 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 conversation is not smart. This 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 story that you see in your head that you're spewing out your mouth over some stupid ass billion dollars. You already got the story lined up. That shit is wild. That shit is wild. I really, my brain don't. My brain is not like yours. It's not. It's crazy because we started from across the street from McDonald's. I was thinking like, yo, Shorty took us to Cheesecake Factory and we see our Shorty across the street at McDonald's. And then all of a sudden we became to like trafficking the wife in Vegas. Like where? <laughs> you see how you see how a woman and a nigga is totally different? You see how we just had them get took to the Cheesecake Factory and see our bitch across the street? Where a woman would have to go and get us all expenses to fucking Vegas and everything else. And it's just so much extravagant when a woman fucking sells her body than when a man is selling his body. I give her dick, I get six thousand dollars. Fucking she, she give a pussy, she get a billion. Like what the uh, fuck? first of all, you shouldn't be talking about conversations that you have never ever experienced in your life. Okay. I've, I've had them. So I've had that scenario. I've had That's that a really uh, woman know, spending just, money. Just, just, I've had that scenario when a woman spends that money on me, and I was with my ex, well, with my wife. So that's what I'm saying to you. You think you talking, but you're not. Like you, you're you're making up weird ass things. Like I, I didn't leave my wife because of her. I and, and and I see and I see my and my wife cheated. And what's the point? <laughs> like, see, see they, they, you you have never been in those type of scenarios, sir. Uh, 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 what kind of I've been there, done I'm that. I'm, I'm pulling up. Bro, I'm one of my bitches. Be, being married, being married, and having a side chick that spends money on you. Oh no! You've never been in that scenario. I don't need to be in that scenario. It don't go like that. Once yeah, feelings get that. involved, that shit is out. No, we're talking about your scenario, sir. We ain't talking about your real money. We're oh, talking about you, bro your broke, your broke side, nigga. That's what I'm we're talking sorry, about. When you broke, you gotta get it by any means, bro. I'm sorry, that's how it goes, bro. Like I've been in a scenario mm -hmm. where, yes, I've been broke and had to be where sh my shorty was married. Yeah, like yeah, it was in and sh and her husband was providing actually yeah it that was the scenario with yeah so it's a fuck the, it's crazy scenario so let me explain so shorty was like married to an immigrant and like yeah like shorty was getting like immigrant money she's dead now so r.i.p becky but she's dead 
So she used to like, like be with the immigrant and he used to give her an allowance every month, which was just like some, some money for a hotel or whatever like that, some drugs, whatever. And yeah, yo, we used to live like that. And, and like, I used to have like a junky, I, I never took anything but weed and a little bit of ecstasy here and there for a summer. I've never been like, uh, uh, like, but the 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 relationship we had, well, was like junkies. We were in New York. We were homeless. We were going through the homeless shelters. You know what I mean? We were doing what we had to do. And she was married to a a, a dude from Egypt or something like that that was trying to get his papers. And unfortunately, he didn't. But the whole time she was with him, she was cheating on him with me. So, it, you know what I mean? It, 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 I'm, I've been in positions where it's like, yo, if I'm broke, I'm going to crash out. Like, you know what I mean? I've been broke more than I've been on. You know what I mean? I've had, I have, I've had nothing more than I've had something. So my only instincts is to crash the fuck out. If I see my wife or girl or, or, or shorty or some shit, you know what I mean? I'm going to feel some type of way I'm, and, and just offer my nigga instincts. I'm gonna go ham, but I've been in the position. I mean, I understand it. I understand it. I understand it. You know, we, yeah. when we was younger, I, I, I when I was younger, if you catch my my girl's legs open, don't get mad when she asks you where the cash is at. Yeah, you, um, and you know, I, I, did, I didn't. But now, as a man, being t learning the the what what's what's real and what we as programmed to be doing. Yeah, I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, I would never do that because one thing, uh, one <laughs> thing about it is, and that's a, the, the whole scenario. The moral of the story is: don't cheat, because it's not going to end good. It brings bad energy. You have to tell a lie after another lie after another lie after another lie, and eventually you're going to get caught. And when you're married, and when those feelings are involved, you're not really. Uh, should be held accountable for your actions, you know, uh, because this is a person that you wanted to spend your life with and things like that. So you shouldn't be out cheating and doing wrong and in that. So you could break people and, and make people snap. So the moral of the story is don't snap. You could you could put a thousand scenarios scenarios out there, but the best one is don't cheat. So none of this shit happens. And then you know we could you know what I mean it, it it'll just work out for everybody. But uh, it's been scenarios where we are younger, you know, in our nineteen late teens, early twenties, and we feel like, yo, let me let me let me smooth through these cracks real quick. Let me just get by. I could play this bitch. I could do that. You know what I mean? Some shorties are cool with it. They think it's cool. But yo, listen, that's how people die. 